Hi. Today we will see how to use this conditioning average node and how it is possible to achieve such changes between the different images. Our workflow is very simple and of course you will find it in the description of the video. We have one control net here with depth anything I will attach a video in the link that shows how to install this model. Of course you have to prepare the model with a preprocessor. This is the image based on which we will create the depth map, and here you can see the depth map that we will work with. Of course, our seed is fixed, so that it does not affect the result. And let's see what we have in the prompts, notice that I created two positive prompts, in both of which I wrote the same prompt, only with a change of the season of the year, plus a description that fits the season. These two prompts are connected to conditioning average which does exactly what its name implies, an average between the two prompts, as soon as we set the slider to 1 we will receive the prompt that is connected to conditioning to as soon as we set the prompt to 0 we will receive the prompt that is connected to conditioning from. And of course as soon as we are somewhere in the middle we will receive all kinds of combinations of the prompts, and in our case different times of the year. Let's try to do it now with an image and a different subject, and I hope you will see how powerful this tool is to work with. I will bypass the control net and write a simple prompt studio photo of woman, blonde hair, soft light, high key, sharp. I skip the conditioning average for a moment and connect the positive prompt directly to the case sampler and press Q. As you can see, we got a character that is kind of perfect, and quite a few times I want to get characters that are a little more realistic and less Barbies. For this I will write in the second prompt, words that contradict beauty and perfection, such as ugly tired blemishes and you can add anything you see fit. Now before we click on Q, I will first copy the image we got to control net so that we get more or less the same character but with a different qualities. We will activate the control net and connect the positive to the case sampler. Let's just see that everything works great. And now we have a slider that affects the character of our model, as soon as we want a less perfect and clean look, we simply reduce the slider. So I hope you learned and we will meet in the next lessons, of course you are welcome to subscribe to the channel to ask questions, comment and like, and most importantly, have fun. Bye.